Take a wild guess. Who eats the most sugar? I'm talking about age groups. This group right here between the ages of 11 and 18. Teenagers. They consume 74 grams of added sugar. We're only going to talk about added sugar right now. Every single day. That's 18 and a half teaspoons of sugar every single day. But check this out. If you're one and a half years old to three years old, you consume 36 grams of sugar. That's nine teaspoons every single day. That's crazy. Now, that's not even the tip of the iceberg because what I'm going to tell you next is going to shock you. There's some missing information or confusion around the topic of sugar and carbohydrates. An average person does not realize that all carbohydrates turn into sugar in the body. And I'm talking about the bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, waffles, pancakes, muffins, juice. There's an exception, fiber. Even though fiber is a carbohydrate, it is not digested by the body. It doesn't turn into sugars. Your microbes, your friendly bacteria in your gut, eat the fiber. And this is why vegetables are good, because they're low in sugar and high in fiber. Now, as far as fruits go, most fruits are grown as a hybrid. In other words, they've done certain things to manipulate the seeds to make them higher in sugar, to make them sweeter. Like the Honeycrisp apple, which has 19 grams of sugar, even bananas and uh, watermelon. A long ago, we didn't have these super sweet fruits. Uh, an apple probably was a crab apple, which was very, very tart and very, very sour. So the only fruit that I recommend are the berries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries in small amounts. Now, if we take all the carbs that someone eats, we get an average of 275 grams of carbs every single day. Now, that comes out to 68.75 teaspoons of sugar each day. That's a little more than a half a pound a day. It's 0.6 pounds of sugar every single day that an average person is consuming. Now, for the year, that comes out to 219 pounds. So an average person consumes 219 pounds or 99 kilograms of sugar every single year. That is completely insane, especially if you understand what's normal in the body. If you take normal blood sugars, let's say 180 milligrams per deciliter, that calculates to only about one teaspoon of sugar in all of your blood, okay? So that's, that's not a lot. And that one tiny teaspoon of sugar can be made from your own body out of non-carbohydrate source. It doesn't even have to come from the diet. It can come from your fat. It can come from protein. So what could happen to a body when you feed it 68.75 teaspoons of sugar every single day? You get a chronic exposure of sugar to all of your tissues. Let's go through all the different things that could happen. Number one, it's going to affect the heart. And a lot of these conditions can occur even before you get diabetes, but diabetes is usually inevitable. Take a look at the statistics of diabetes and it's just, it's like an epidemic. But chronic exposure to glucose on the heart valves destroys the heart, causes high blood pressure, it leads to a clot, and even a stroke. It can affect your teeth. It can affect your breath because sugar feeds certain bacteria that give you bad breath. It severely affects the brain. It can give you ADD, affecting your attention and your focus because it affects the cognitive part of your brain, which is memory, focus, and concentration, as well as your ability to learn. It can definitely affect your overall mood, making you irritable, giving you anxiety, and even depression. It can keep your brain in a state of fog so you can't think clearly. And over the years, it can lead to dementia and Alzheimer's, which is considered diabetes type 3. It can definitely affect the hormones. Take a look at someone who has PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. The high levels of sugar that raise insulin increase another hormone called androgens. If you're female, you get excess facial hair, you have hair loss, your voice goes a little bit deeper, you get a gut 
it can severely affect your skin in a negative way, causing not just acne, but all sorts of inflammatory conditions of your skin. It creates a lot of inflammation in your joints, creating all the itises, bursitis, tendonitis, arthritis. It can affect your endurance if you play sports. You're just going to run out of gas prematurely. You're going to be tired most of the time. You're going to have the need for glasses eventually simply because high uh, levels of sugar running through your blood vessels go through the inner eye and affect the circulation to the nerves, causing a lot of problems with the eye, including diabetic neuropathy eventually, cataracts, glaucoma, blurriness, and it can even affect the shape of your lens. All right, next one is the obvious one, belly fat. Once you fill up the liver with fat, it spills over around the organs, causing belly fat. If you have belly fat, there's a good chance you have a fatty liver. And the fatty liver leads to inflammation, which then leads to scar tissue. So that could actually develop into cirrhosis, which is advanced scar tissue of the liver. Nerve pain in the bottom of the feet and the fingertips. But other than that, I think there's no other symptoms that you'll get, so you're going to be good to go. All right, so I think it would be a really good exercise for you to take just one day and evaluate how much sugar you consume per day. You can get one of these apps that measures the carbs, so you can get some idea of how much sugar you actually eat on a yearly basis. And maybe that will be very motivating to avoid all of these conditions. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.